All right guys, so this is uh, one of our hats that we dive with. This is actually my personal hat. Um, <clears throat> every one of them has regulator. Most people put flashlights on them, um, welding shields. Um, inside of the hat, you just have your oil nasal and this, this little device right here. Put your nose against so you can clear your ears on uh, different depths. <clears throat> And then getting the hat ready, put your Snoopy in here, which is just padding, so it's a little bit more comfortable in the water. And uh, <clears throat> put them on all these little snaps in here. And your chin pad is your chin strap that uh, holds the hat tighter on your head. And then this is your neck dam. It goes over top of your head and makes a nice seal so you don't get any water while you're underwater. And then after you do that, get it all together. We always have to check our one way. So uh, if you were to lose air, air doesn't come back out of your hat. That's good to go. tie it up here. Next thing we're going to do is hook up the umbilical to our hat. So this is our umbilical. There's a couple parts to it. Alright. So this is our umbilical. There's a D-ring that clips to our harness. It actually goes behind us this way, comes up to our hat. So you have the D-ring. This is our hot water hose when it's cold outside. This is our pneumo hose. This is how we tell how deep we are underwater. Um, inside of the dive rack there, there's a gauge. And uh, pump air through this, and the back pressure of the water tells you how deep you are. And then this blue spiral is our comm line. So inside of our hat, right here are the earphones, and inside of that oral nasal, there's a uh, microphone. So we can talk all the time back and forth between whatever we're seeing, back up here to top side. And uh, after you check the one way, we blow the hose out, which we blow this out. Cody. Low diver one. Wrong hat. Two. So uh, all that's doing is blowing all the moisture out of the line. So when we hook it up to our hat, we're not blowing a bunch of water into our hat. And then after you've checked the one way, Pretty much screw the fitting on, hook your comms up, and 
put a wrench on it. That's pretty much the process of putting the hat on. Now we just need to check. Com check, one, two. Uh, loud, and clear. loud and clear. And uh, that's pretty much it for setting up the hat. I'm gonna go through the equipment first. Uh, compressor C18-3, who checked the compressor today? I did. Uh, fuel? Good. Volume tank? Good. Monolite? Good. Filters? Good. Engine oil? Good. Probably check the leaks. Um, HP is at 1900, regulated 150. I have 2600 in my bailout. You have 2800 in your bailout. Yeah. Bilical Swift pressure gauges, connections are tight, main valves are open. We've audibly checked for leaks. My 27 is online as well as MSI 18. Thermal protection be wetsuit with hot water. Condition of suit's good. Uh, communications, batteries are charged, connections are good. We tested diver one and two. Um, comms were good on both diver end and the rack box end. Um, emergency phone list is available. Marine radios do work. Cell phones are pretty spotty. It had service has gotten a little better out here you actually have a slight bit of service um, we have dive tables notes logs platform secured we have the dive flag out uh, fire extinguishers under the helm and everybody should have a dive knife on their harness <clears throat> inspect these brackets as well as the piles on pier number two which is directly behind me um, throw protection should be wetsuit with hot water water temps around 38 weather's 38-ish outside to 40. Um, hot water will be around 110. Supervising will be Alec. Diving will be myself and Joseph. Um, we will be each other standby in the water. And Cody Hopkins will be tending. Is everybody physically fit and ready to dive? I am. Yeah. First aid kit front, um, is in that box um, directly in front of the helm. Mm -hmm. Um, fire extinguisher is under the helm. Mm -hmm. I think there is also a fire extinguisher in that box as well. We are both each other's emergency diver. Um, you have 2,800 in your bailout. I have 2,600 in my bailout. Emergency HP has been checked. Emergency diver bailouts have been checked. Cell phones, two-way radios are somewhat operational. Service isn't super great here. Um, emergency phone number would be 911. Hazards, slip trips, falls, pinch points. Um, sharps, swimming, water, hot water machine. Um, mm -hmm. Make sure when this hot water machine is running, you are, your hand Love goes that. nowhere near the end of, exhaust end of this hot water machine. Um, and if you're going anywhere near this hot water machine, gloves need to be on 100% of the time. Um, <clears throat> the other hazard would be entanglement for both of us being in the water, mm -hmm. swimming around, um, just good hose management. Make sure that we're both aware of where each other, where each diver is at all times. Um, PP, hard hat, safety glass, steel toe boots, gloves, um, safety vests or PFDs. Weather is cool, a little bit breezy, um, but sunny at the moment. Should be no water current, max depth, maybe hopefully less than 60 feet. Um, 60 would probably be our max. Loss of air, we'll go to HP um, and abort the dive. Visibility, looks like there may be a couple feet. Um, loss of communication, we'll go to line pulls. 
um, make both of our pneumos hot. If we get a pneumo from you and aren't getting anything back, we're gonna take the lost comms and start making our way back to the boat. Um, entrapment and entanglement really should just be around each other. Um, there's, or if we wrapped ourselves around these piles, which I don't foresee us doing. Uh, break away from mooring station, get both divers up and on the boat before we try and get these lines back around the pier. Um, emergency action plan, get the uh, injured diver up under his own power if possible. If not, send the other diver that is in the water with him over to assist. Uh, location nearest hospital is Danville and or um, Jasmine, RJ Corman. No differential pressure, tools just be hand tools and the UT gauge, there should be no pump suction. Does anybody have anything else to add? Nope. Everybody all good? Feel good about it? All right. All right, this is our hot water machine. This allows us to dive in water that would not normally be comfortable by taking water from the lake, sending it through the machine, heating it up in the machine and then sending it to both divers. Using a pump, we take water from the lake, Speak up. send it through the machine, and it comes out both divers. some cleaning, maybe take a uh, three UT readings on the shelf. Yeah, roger that. And action. <laughs> you can say cut, Colin. At the end of this. I should have said cut the last. You're letting the paper blow. 
and cut. Nice. Yes! 